Uber is threatening to leave our area if Palm Beach County moves forward with fingerprint background checks. But that is not the only issue. Our consumer watchdog, Jen Strathman, shows you why some commissioners are also concerned about insurance for drivers. Jen? Well, when you get car insurance, you're asked what you're using the car for, personal use or business. We talked to Uber drivers who admit they are driving for Uber without telling their insurance company. Do you think your insurance company would drop you if they found out you were driving for Uber? Absolutely. Bernard drives for Uber 50 hours a week and, like the company itself, would only give his first name, wanting to operate under the radar. The popular ride sharing app won't hand over a list of drivers to the county. During an audit, Uber removed driver information, making it hard for the county to even check out Uber's background checks. Now there's concern that if the county does the fingerprint background check, that information could become public and ultimately cost drivers even more. I think that the insurance companies will find out who the Uber drivers are and require them to carry commercial insurance. No Uber driver is going to spend two to three thousand dollars a year on commercial insurance, so Uber will lose all its drivers. While Uber is threatening to leave Palm Beach if fingerprint checks are required, it's still operating in cities like Houston and Columbus, Ohio, where those are required. Uber says wait times have increased in those cities because fewer drivers are applying for the jobs. Now, when you get in a ride for Uber, you are covered by the company's million dollar insurance policy. This insurance issue, though, and the fingerprint checks will be discussed further at the August 18th meeting. I'm Consumer Watchdog Jen Strathman fighting for you. Palm Beach County's